If you are considering starting up a business with very little capital that you can do from the comfort of your home, then you should watch this video till the very end because I'm going to be sharing the recipe and secrets to making the perfect fruity zobo drink for both commercial and small scale purposes. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get right into today's video. We're making zobo, yes. So we'll be needing zobo leaves. Um, we'll also be using cloves and we'll be using ginger. Then for the sweetener, we're going to be using dates. This date has already been um, soaked, peached and blended so that's why it's like that and pineapple as well so the pineapple we use are the um kotono pineapple if you are in nigeria these pineapples are very small and long and very usually very sweet um it's better you use those those um species of pineapples because they are quite sweet you see those round ones they're usually not sweet sometimes they might be sweet and sometimes you might be lucky they won't be sweet but these long cotton ones are always very sweet we're going to be using the peel as well so we're keeping it now water is on fire and it's almost boiling it's not boiling but it's getting there so the first thing we'll do is to pour in the pineapple pe the recipe is in the description box i'm making a very small batch but you can always multiply the recipe if you are producing a large batch so just follow the procedure the same thing next up is the ginger depending on if you are making a large batch you can pound it or use a food processor to blend it whichever way works the next thing is to add in the zobo leaves you you're going to wash the zobo leaves because sometimes that's sand so make sure you wash it properly even if it's a large large batch make sure you wash it thoroughly then you pour it into the water now the next thing is to add the cloves add it in and we're going to cover the pot and allow it to boil Zobo is boiling and releasing all of his juice. I'm going to move on to the pineapple. I'm going to be juicing it with a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, you can always blend it using a blender. Once that is done, I'm going to even sieve it again because my juicer is not so it's not a slow juicer, so it's still going to have sediment. So if you are using the blender method, you do the same thing, you're going to sieve it. You can also use a cheesecloth to separate the juice from the shafts, and if you have a slow juicer that works perfectly is even the best to use now the zobo is already boiling on fire look at that now what we're going to do is just to pack it away you can recook it you can cook it another time but if you want it to be very thick there's no point to recooking it again but if you want it a bit light you can add a little bit of water and cook it one more time now a quick reminder for you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed turn on your post notification give this video a thumbs up and of course share with your friends and family i share new videos every saturday so of course you're going to be getting very sweet content on saturdays please subscribe thank you date being the major sweetener for this drink um, has been soaked the seed has been removed and it has been blended finely so we're going to separate it because we only need the syrup so what we'll do is just to add a little bit of water and then pour in the dates and separate it sieve it sort of or sieving it you can also use some other sorts of um, sweeteners like sugar you can use jaggery. Jaggery is like the juice from sugarcane that has been processed and it's always brownish like this so that can also be used. So that's the syrup that is coming out from the date and that's exactly what we need. You can see that. 
so this is what we are going to be adding into the juice because date is a very expensive option you are going to be using much and it's going to affect your costing at the end of the day now the zobo is hot these are pineapple juice and the date syrup so i'm going to be adding in everything into the zobo juice the zobo juice is usually very dark in color but by the time you start adding your fruit juices and your sweeteners especially if you are using dates the color is going to change so they alter the color of the zobo drink but that's totally fine now we're going to be adding lemon juice so this is serving as a preservative so lemon juice helps you preserve this zobo drink for some time Now this is a very concentrated flavor this is pineapple flavor so i'm going to be using just a few drops i used two drops there now the final stage is to sieve the zobo once again because you know you've added dates and you've added some juices um, this is also a cheesecloth but is in form of a square i'm just going to place it over my bowl if you are doing a large batch you just place it over your big bowl and then tie it now i'll pour the zobo leaf, uh, the zobo juice and strain it over the cheesecloth note that no matter how you sieve it um the zobo juice is still going to have some sediments because you didn't use sugar you actually used it now this is the sediment that we have you see it's not so much but it's something now uh the next thing is to start bottling the zobo drink so this bottle is a 50 cl bottle you can use any kind of bottle that you like there are different types of bottles and sizes this is 50 cl there's 35 cl there's one liter so depending on the audience that you want to serve you can get any bottle and then you seal it depending on the, your customer base if you are going to be selling to a, a a high hand customer base you use a bottle that you're going to seal the pet bottle that you're going to seal if you want to be selling for um for school kids or just not so high end people you can be using bottles that are that can be recycled maybe bottles pet bottles from um, bottled water you can use them you can use them wash them and use it but our advice you use pet bottles that that you would have to bottle yourself fresh one that will be sealed that's better and more hygienic for branding go to a printing store near you tell them to design and print a sticker for you and voila you're good to go i hope you've enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video